Once an X-ray photon has passed through the object without being absorbed, it is measured in an X-ray detector. Now the total measured intensity obviously depends on the intensity at the source, called I0, and the intensity changes as it is attenuated by the material. Now without going into too much mathematical details here, note that this measured data I is exponentially related to the attenuation coefficients of the object mu. This is not good, because exponential relations are just much more difficult to work with than a linear relation. Fortunately, this can be easily circumvented. And the only thing that we need to know is the beam intensity at the source, which can be measured by doing an empty scan, also called a flat field. This has the extra benefit that it will correct for local changes in detector sensitivity, which will have a deteriorating effect on the eventual reconstruction images. Also, while we're at it, we can do a measurement where the X-ray source is completely switched off. This is called a dark field image. And taking a dark field image into account means that you are modeling electronic noise properties of the detector array, and this will also lead to better images. And then finally, Beer's law then joins all of them together so that we end up with corrected and linear measured attenuation data.